we're here with the cast of Lucifer at San Diego Comic-Con. Very excited. This is your first year ever, of course. Well, not yours, right? Have you been to Comic-Con before? It's my very first year. It's your very first year at Comic-Con? And now I'm leaving. Cheer. Oh, no! <laughs> what are you guys thinking? Are you excited? Are you nervous? Are you full of energy? I think we've had a great day, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> no, it's been amazing. Well, it's been I, think, so I think the highlight of the day was going to the screening and doing the Q&A afterwards, because as actors, you don't really get an opportunity to get like instant feedback about how your work has been received. And it was yeah, so it was lovely cool. to sort of be in a room where it was received in such a sort of... Uh, positive. Positive way, yeah. but also like everyone just had a great time watching it, and they all... Laughed in the right places, thank God. <laughs> well, yeah. especially since this is a comic book convention and the mm -hmm. uh, this is from a comic book. I mean, did you get a lot of people, I loved you, I didn't think that you looked like this in the comic, but I love it, it's great, it's moving forward. I think when, when a lot, I mean, in the comic book, I made a deal like an old white guy with like gray hair. So yep. I yeah. think <laughs> that he <laughs> sort of knew exactly. that, <laughs> yeah. you know, I'm and blonde. then you're blonde. I'm blonde. You know. That was just, it was a phase, it was a phase. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think, what was cool is that they've seen the, you know, they've seen glimpses of the character that they know from the comic books, and so it's we've dangled that carrot in front of them. Um, but they're also getting the, like, what the show is, yeah. which is this, you know, this dark comedy that is set in this fantastical sort of Lucifer world, but on Earth in Los Angeles that doesn't take itself too seriously. But you will, if you're a purist of the comic books, you'll have the characters that you know from there. Yeah, for those unaware, the, it's set in a, it's the devil opens up a bar in LA, simply yeah. put. It's so much more than that, but that's the simplest thing. Yeah, I mean, the, yeah, the, uh, the crux of it is that the devil has, he's bored of being the devil. So he's, um, he's hung up his horns, I like that one. Yeah. Hung up his horns. Uh, he's hung up his horns and, uh, and moved to LA and we probably meet him about five years into this uh, sabbatical um, and he, I think he's quite content really with the sort of you know just playboy lifestyle that he's got um, but he hasn't realized that, that all this time he's spending on earth he's actually becoming more and more human mm. um, and hurts. so yes this is where we meet a, an, an, an irredeemable character on a path of redemption well, you said hang up the horns, and I have to wonder, being, you know, how many underworld puns are we going to get in the pilot? Is it good? Underworld puns in the pilot? I don't know. In the press. <laughs> <laughs> speak yeah, of, speak of the devil. <laughs> Devil's advocate. Devil's advocate. Devil's advocate. Yeah, yeah. Um, bet the devil we know. I'm Just surprised some, no one here wore a blue dress. I'm like, that's good. That's great. That I wore a blue dress. Yeah. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. of course. Mm -hmm. I, I'll, I'll do that next time. Next year. Next year, next year, absolutely. Just wear a blue dress. Yeah. I mean, I normally do. It's kind of, that's the irony. And for those who haven't read the comics, could you tell us, I mean, what is the Devil's Bar like? <laughs> uh, it's, it's a big, it's a big kind of, actually, when we, when we shot it, it was a much bigger uh, space, space than I had imagined. It was this huge kind of nightclub. Um, and it's, it, the centerpiece of it is this big grand piano. And, it, you know, he's a pianist and he, he loves mm -hmm. his music. Um, so this is the, the, that was the core of the bar that he'd opened. It's the place where y humans, you know, can come to just I let loose. A den of iniquity might be a good Exactly, way of it. yeah. You know, this debaucherous kind of sexy place. As close to hell as we could possibly have yeah. for him and I. You know, I'm the, the main bartender or yeah. the manager. Yeah, I'll know. tell you the But manager. I'm a demon. And I guess my final question is, I mean, angels have been predominantly portrayed in the media as like kind of staunchy, a little serious. Are we going to see, we're going to ruffle some angel feathers? <laughs> uh, I think so, because for starters, he has a cocaine problem. So we're going to really, no, I'm just, it's been a long day. I don't know, I'm good. I'm watching this. So sorry. What channel? To develop a cocaine problem. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, you know, he's a, um, uh, what I love about him is he's a warrior angel, you know, so uh, he's what what he loves is battle and that's that's all he knows, you know, so what what we'll get a chance to see is coming into Lucifer's world, he's going to have to, you know, embrace his own humanity. Yeah, and the longer he spends on Earth, the more he feels too, I guess. The less sort angelic of, he becomes. Exactly, it's yeah. kind of like you, yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. I thank really you appreciate much. you guys joining us. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs>